All right. Ready for more? Got another hour and 45. So let's continue on. What is it? Who you beat? Mm, oh, I see. One of the poor wretches from my factories. My name is Jared. I am guard here. You, Jared? You, girl, Will Bahuma? Wilhelmina, where is she? She be dead. No. I sorry. <laughs> Continue to sob for a few moments before composing himself. I know I have no right to ask you this of you, but could you do me a favor? I don't know. Could you stop by the stone cutters for me? I need a tombstone made for my Wilhelmina. It is very important to me. His shop is on the corner of Mulligan Bone Alley and East End Avenue. Tell him to come round to visit me. I can't leave my post. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, what do you want? Me ask something? Of course, madam, what may I help you with? Goober Tates? That's an easy one, it is. Uh, it's a magnificent house at the tail end of Kensington Broadway, 50 East End Avenue is the address. Can't miss it, anything else? Pea scoopers and tons? Well, that one's a bit difficult to find. Yep, Grimson Way, blah, blah, blah. Trading? Nope, okay. <laughs> I love this dialogue. It's so good. <sighs> there we go. Uh, okay. What road do I need to be on for that, uh, tombstone? Nope. Mulligan Bone Alley and East End Avenue. Oh, I should have been looking at these plaques earlier. Did I look at all these plaques? Hmm. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Nice to meet you. Who are you? I'm Wendell Wellington, owner of the famed Wellington Gentlemen's Club, and I do not have time to entertain idiots. What is it you want from me? Gandal, mum? Can I go in? No, fool. You're a woman, not a gentleman. Do you understand? Please. Well, even idiots have their good points, eh? I'm certain I could find an invite around here to gain you access to my club for, say, 500 coins. And, of course, you would need to show me your gratitude. Huh? You give me 500 coins and I get, and a good time, I get you in club. I don't want to, I go away. So I got to give him 500 bucks and a beach. Well, that's, you know what? That's actually pretty reasonable. Maybe we do that. Ah, 
yes, that was quite refreshing. <laughs> he lures at you disgustingly. Here's your invitation, which will gain you entrance to my club. Please feel free to visit me anytime. Wink. I beat you for fun anyway. Okay. <sighs> that dude just fell down. She beat him, now she's gonna beat him up. There you go. Man. Can I have my money back? Oh, I can, look at that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. You know, it doesn't really matter. I can't. I keep resetting. It's not like I'm gonna. I mean, I only got an hour and a half left to play. I don't know why. Let's just get some shit done here. Ah, uh, here's East End Avenue. Gonna rock down to East End Avenue. And then we'll take it higher. The Bates Estate. <laughs> Ooh, house. Oh, Gooba Bates, the industrialist lives here. I need to talk to Bates. It's not possible, Mr. Bates. He's no one, especially now with a recent attempt on his life. I need to talk to Bates. Listen, idiot. Nobody gets him to talk to Bates. But I need to talk to Bates. Are you serious about seeing him? You might, I might have a job for you. Yes, 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 yes. Job me good at jobs. There's some uh, sabotage. Uh, oh, that won't work. Kill bad men who go to factory after 12 at night. All right. <laughs> good luck, factory at end of 10 ends, Tally. Come here when you have made them dead. He here, key to get in. Oh. <laughs> Why is EK Dennis? Because Dennis is a bastard, man. That's Ten Hands Alley. Okay. What was that place that had to go? The Bone something? Mulligan Bone Alley. Okay. There it is. Here we go. It's this right here. Here. Did it say 12 East End? Is that right about it? Oh, it doesn't sound okay. Ah, it is him. There we go. Hey, what? Who are you? My name is Joseph. I'm the stone cutter here in Toronto. I make headstones and such. Jared needs stone. Will he die? Oh, how sad. Uh, I'll be there. Stop later to speak with you about it. Thank you. Bye-bye. 
<laughs> yes, the East End boys and West End girls. Well, in the Eastern Town, the, the something wants East, Eastern boys and Western girls. I don't, never knew what he said there. Fifty-seven Mulligan Bone Alley. Who are you? Maybe you're the wrong house, man. Perhaps you better leave. Oh. Uh -oh. Me ask something. Me want training. Oh, an idiot grade. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? What be this place? Oh, spectacular. Where my day needed a conversation with a village idiot. This is the Bates Engine Factory, imbecile. I know, imbecile. I here to stop Sabu tears. Well, home side then, but I will be watching you. For all I know, you're in league with the saboteurs yourself, or perhaps an agent of old Applebee, eh? Oh. Uh. So he said, he said after midnight, though. Okay, so I can go in. Well, hold on. Let me. There you go. That's fine. And then I guess I'll wait. Hold on. Let me save it first. Okay, 20. Okay, so I need to wait four more hours. There we go. What is it that you want of me? Nothing. Oh shit, they just popped in. All right, how bad are these guys? Eights? Six, sevens, eights? Okay. Bandit, 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 okay. I mean, it looks brighter right here, but I don't know if it is. Is it brighter? Like over here? Yes, it is brighter, actually. Dodge! Ouchies! Little healing juice! Oh, no! No! <laughs> no. Uh, Canadian bacon. Thank you for the six months. Wolf plank. Oh my god. Wolf plank and cocky. Holy shit! You guys did it during the break. Cocky. Seventeen months. Oh shit! Forgot to unsubscribe again. Oh well. Here you go. Guess. <laughs> thank you, cocky. Also, wolf plank. Thank you for the four years. <laughs> Hell yeah! Thank you. So very much for the four years of support. You're too kind. Oh, is it is it save scum? I guess it is. Because I died. I guess when you die, 
fighting something and then you revert back to a save, it's a save scum, I guess. Because that's, yeah, sure. Or it's a role-playing game, one of the two. One of the two. Nah, you're right. I should just fucking, I should make it permadeath and just go back and start a brand new game. Mel Grot with the prime sub. Hey, Oberseeker. Thank you, Mel Grot. Appreciate you. Here they come. Right? I think sometime after midnight. It's midnight, right? Zero zero. Probably have to wait for all the the guards to be gone. What are you still doing here? Get out of here, asshole! So what's the difference between saving and save scumming? I would think it's trying something over and over again to get the result you want. That's save scumming. Saving before a fight it's just fucking RPG, like, 101. Ah, shit, balls. Back up. There we go. Gotta get him in the light. Come on. Oh, no. 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 Oh, fuck me. Yep, that's all I needed. Just a couple of misses. There you go. Come on, hit her. Hit her. How about a little healing? Pal! Pal! Oh no, he knocked me down! Oh, I can get back up. There we go. Knock him down. There you go. There you go. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Hit him. Flies on the ground. Whoo! That was a closey. That was a closey. <laughs> One more hour. Okay. All right, what you got? Oh, a rusty hammer. That suede jacket, though. Suede jacket's gonna look good. Gonna look good on me. Well, actually, I'm not gonna take it. But I mean, not gonna use it. But I will take it. Ooh. Other one. There you go.
Another rusty hammer. Another suede jacket. Oh man, them suede jackets. They're gonna they're gonna add up. You'll you'll see. They'll add up. I'll be I'll be rolling in dough. Rolling in dough. Uh here, have some of this. Have this and this. That. There you go. Just gotta make a little room for that jacket. Bingo. Alright, we did it, guys. Killed them all. Level up too. Strength. Easy peasy. Metal object, huh? That's the quietest fucking steam machine I've ever seen. Anything good in there? CK Sugar? Ooh, that's my girl, Sugar. She give me sugar. Right, I'm just going to get out of here. Going to go find a... A seller, a merchant of goods and services. And sell all this shit before I go on any other dumb quests. Oh, they don't keep walking? Oh, damn it. Fucking erases shit, too. God damn it. Black Dolly's alive? Nice! You got it working, huh, bud? Congratulations. Hey, McBowman. Thank you for these 16 months. And Milgroth with the Prime sub. Hail Berseeker! Thank you, Milgroth. Who's flop house? Poon's flop house. Oh, good. Nice. Great. <sighs> okay. I just need a fucking merchant and I can't zoom out anymore. So I have to find one that I've already found before. Here we go. The general store. Where am I? There, go that way. Uh, do you guys uh, take bloodstained armor? <laughs> I have 30 sets here. Is that going to be a problem? Ah, Fashion Palace. Oh, right. Um, oh, is he outside? He's probably outside. Ah, here he is. There's the man. The proprietor. You must be lost, Half-Hawk. We're not, you're not welcome here. Let's trade stuff. 
<laughs> okay. I'm not interested. Son of a bitch. There we go. Nope. He only takes the fanciest of things. Fine. I'll go to the general's. Wait, hold on. I know he'll take that. Okay, that's it. Okay. There. All right. To the general store. Well, they like what I have to offer. Wow, 258, you bet. 151. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, we're making some money. All right. Come on, dude. Yes. Take all of these. Thank you. How about this? No! No! I need you to buy that from me, you son of a bitch! Hmm. Put them on a cloud so you can admin and maintain them while Zeke abuses them? What are you talking about? I don't abuse anything. Except my audience. I don't want that. Ah, there we go. You can sell them jewels. There we go. Jewelries. No coins. that down there you go put that on the ground good job all right good making quite a bit of money there you go have that for 11 coins uh, there you go you don't want any of those you can have that Made a good bit of money. Now, I need to find the fucking armor smith or something. That's the bridge. <clears throat> like the warehouse district.
There's a tavern. No, I need a... Oh, my God, dude. Whatever happened to the teddy bear you had? It was never a teddy bear sleep dealer, and you fucking probably know that! It's a cat! But it's around, by the way. Uh, um. Okay, so I need to go to the guard now, the back to the guard. There should be also be an identity witch by a road on the outskirts of the city. Identity witch? Or oh, identify witch. Oh, okay. So that's where I want to go. This is the guy I talked to, yeah? Killed saboteurs! Congratulations, my stupid friend. Thank you for helping us out. Please go in. I'm sure Mr. Bates will want to thank you personally. servants here. Yeah, just a lot of people here. It's gonna fucking chug. Oh, shit. Did they... Okay. Maybe they left it unlocked because there's nothing here. <gasps> Look at all the pretty dresses! So many pretty dresses! Oh, those are worth a pretty penny. This is in case I want to sneak in, I'm sure. quiet up here okay that's locked all right maybe I should ask one of the guards where the fuck the guy is where's the guy ah right, here we go I bet one of these guys is the guy there's Gilbert why would the village idiot be addressing me me kill saboteurs! When my guards told me you would be coming to speak with me, they failed to mention that you were a complete idiot. Of And what would the imbecile like to tell me now? Impotent discuss! And why would the village idiot be addressing me? When my guards told me you would be coming this to speak with me... That's your ring! Where did you get that ring? 
Did the dwarf give it to you? No, stupid Scarface gnome gave then died. Scar? Where was this Scar? Speak up, you ignorant fool. I. Damn them all to hell. What did they do to you, Stenar? Me not, Stenar! I know you're not, Stenar, fool. Just pretend you're not a complete imbecile and listen. I need to share this with someone. And as luck would have it, and you won't understand half of it anyway. Okay. It is ironic that my greatest mistake is that which brought me such wealth. As a youth, I was enamored of all things dwarven. So I sought out the nearest clan and attempted to impress them with my grasp of their technology. They laughed. Continue! It was obviously a novelty to them. A ridiculous human who had a natural bent towards technology. I suppose it didn't help that I was a mere 14 years old at the time. I became something they humored to entertain themselves. Continue! Stenar was the only one who truly called me friend in all those years. And betrayal is how I repaid his friendship. It was he who first showed me their steam engine, as he knew I could appreciate the beautiful intricacies of its design. Continue! They had left it to rust in a corner, as they had very little use for the device that would reduce the need for sheer physical power. Imagine a dwarf relying on a device to do his digging for him. It's preposterous. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I fall asleep because bald man is boring. I asked him if I could tinker with it, perhaps improve on it, as I knew this was the key to becoming truly a part of the dwarven world. I quickly devised a way to use it to power a pump for draining the mines. Why you tell me this? I know remember nothing. When I fell all over myself trying to explain it to them, laughter was once again their only response. I knew I had to somehow gain their respect, so I hastily sketched some schematics and set out to prove my theory. The struggling human mining company that I brought the plans to offered me a share in their mines for the steam pump. I was ecstatic. I had not a care for their mines or their money. I desired vindication. Can you please stop walking? It really distract me. When I returned to the dwarves to boast of my accomplishments and be welcomed into their clan, they were gone. The inventions came quickly after that, fueled by my anger and confusion. How could they have denied me my place amongst them after all my labors? Somehow I felt I could still prove myself to them. I continued searching for them in all my spare moments, but to no avail. Why are they doing then this to me? They came, the robed ones. They appeared to me late one night, and they warned me to never speak of, nor try to find the dwarves again. Still being a mere lad, you can imagine the terror that put into me. As my wealth and power grew, I shook off some of my youthful fear, and hired the first in a long chain of investigators to locate Stenar and his clan. None of them ever returned <laughs> any worthwhile information. And some never returned at all. The ones that did told of vicious traps and creatures attacking them from the shadows. As word of these failures spread, it became more and more difficult to find souls brave enough to take on the challenge. What I do now? Hmm. She might just be stupid enough to do something for me. <laughs> <clears throat> you go to the Black Mountain Mines and find where Clan went to, okay? Yes? I'll mark your map. Now get out. Come back when you're done. Boo guy! <laughs> Sweet. 
Streaming large Roger grunts at you without shifting his heavy lidded gaze. Erg. Oh, they're all locked. Okay. Okay. Save it. New one. Just in case. Goob. Wait. Boog. Guy. Okay. Let me. Mm -hmm. Quit. Yes. Exit. 